Well, hello there. Today, we're going to be discussing the new Survive the Horde that was recently added to Save the World. I'm going to give you a couple pointers on uh, how to survive the storm and a couple hints and a couple of things I figured out along the way that I didn't realize at, uh, at first. All right, let's just jump right into it. As you see, this is a this is basically what happens when you die is uh, the team members have to pick you up like normal, but if they don't pick you up in time, then uh, you'll just get to observe the team, and then you'll be resurrected on the next wave that is available. Okay, and there are two different uh, modes during the horde survival uh, thing there's uh, one you have to destroy the pillars and as soon as you destroy the pillars all the enemies will despawn and uh, later on once you get enough crafting materials you'll be able to craft your own weapons and you'll be able to destroy those a lot easier and if you have a soldier on your team they can just shoot it with their gun uh, very simple and it's it's usually I'm not exactly sure if it's random but uh, there's it's fairly simple you just destroy the pillars and then the other the other mode is basically uh, you kill the enemies there's no time limit so you basically have to kill the enemies on a kill mode the last thing I would like to uh, leave y'all with for today is don't forget it's also a four player mission so you can have uh, one player if only one player is placing defenders you can have up to three defenders placed uh, down and uh, once you craft once you get enough materials to craft a few weapons you'll uh, very easily be able to place a couple defenders around the map and the, and the last thing oh wait the very last last thing I would like to sh uh, share with you today is don't forget to become a wolf by liking and subscribing if you uh, enjoyed the video congratulations uh, I also enjoyed it